what's up guys, Scamfiv here, and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be showing you Team of the Week 20, and you guys pretty much know the drill by now, there's a straw poll in the top of the description, make sure you go vote on that, letting me know which players you want me to review from this week's Team of the Week, and uh, yeah, pretty much, you know who the main man is, right there, definitely will aim to pick him up at some point, sorry for the uh, mouse clicks, uh, my mouse is pretty close to my mic right now, as you guys know I'm changing up my setup, so uh, yeah, there might be a bit of echo in the commentary as well. Anyway, let's go through these players. I'm going to start off with second. Uh, no, this is just inform Diego Alves, who looks like a really, really OP goalkeeper. 99 on both top stats, so he could be a pretty OP keeper in this year's FIFA. May have to try him out to find out for myself. Moving on, we've got Lustig. I did predict this guy as well, and it uh, doesn't look like too bad of a right back. Not the quickest, but um, really good passing on him, good defending. And uh, you know what? I'll, I'll probably end up packing him, and I'll end up keeping him in the club. The first centre back we've got is Moretti. I believe he scored one of the goals in Torino's win on the weekend. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Not the quickest, but uh, got a good defending stat, as you can see. Then we've got this guy, Laurent Seaman. Uh, another one that I predicted well. I uh, actually did pretty well in my team debate predictions this week. Really, really good defending, to be honest. Look at that 81 defending on a silver, 78 physical, and 73 pit weight. Look at the difference. The silver looks so much better. He looks a hell of a lot better, actually. Uh, so this guy might have a bit of a price tag on him, and to be honest, he deserves it. That card looked absolutely awesome. Moving on, we've got Derek Kai on the right mid position. Going to have to try him out just because uh, he's so well-rounded on this game, and uh, we'll have to give him a go for sure. Doesn't look too bad. Not the quickest for a winger, but um, you know what? He looks decent. I'm definitely going to try him out. And then we've got Wesley Schneider. Second in form, Schneider. I love this first in form, even though it was a left wing card. So um, I'm going to have to try out this cam card because it looks good. Look at the pass. 90 passing, 87 shooting. Five star weak foot, Wesley, I'm going to have to try you, look awesome. Moving on, we've got David Pizarro, CDM, 87 passing on this card, didn't even notice that before, that is crazy for such a low rated player, um, he doesn't look too bad at all. Moving on, we've got Julian Ferrer, who um, has been having a good year in the uh, League One, and uh, 82 passing on a silver, there are some insane stats this week, looking really, really good, um, not the best looking team of the week overall, but some of these silvers have got some insane stats. We've got Ross McCormack, who have, uh, of course scored the hat trick in the last game week 83 shooting on a silver look how good his card looks not the quickest but he just looks so well rounded in attack that card actually looks awesome moving on we've got Miroslav Klose I knew he was going to get the inform but for some reason I went for the other Lazio player and I can't remember who it is right now but um, yeah goal and assist I believe he got and it uh, doesn't look too like too bad of an inform at all and then we move on to the main man of the team of the week yes I will try to review him first if I have enough coins because on PlayStation, you guys know my Xbox account got banned. On PlayStation, his first in form is 7 million, so God knows what this second in form is going to go for. It's going to be a crazy, crazy price. Moving on to the bench, then we've got Salin, who um, looks like a pretty solid silver keeper, to be honest. Don't usually use silver keepers just because goalkeepers this year are horrendous. We've got Miguel Herrera, almost completely butchered that name, who um, doesn't look too bad, to be honest. He's got some good defending physical stats, good bit of pace on him as well. Up next, we've got Sam Larson at left mid. I think this guy, is this the guy who got three assists? Um, he doesn't look too bad. And then we'll move on. We've got this guy. Uh, I'm not sure what this guy did, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, not the quickest. I don't imagine he'll be too expensive. Could be wrong, though. And this guy, even though, um, I believe, is he in the second? Yeah, he's in the second Spanish division. He might be pretty expensive. Because look at that 89 pace, 82 dribbling, 73 shooting. He looks insane. I, I actually want to try that guy. He looks pretty damn fun. And then we've got this guy, Odion Ighalo, who, I think this guy scored four goals. I might be wrong. I, I can't fully remember my team's week predictions. But, uh, yeah, he's been scoring a lot of goals for Wat Watford recently. And it definitely deserves the inform. Should have got on last week, to be honest. But, uh, got on this week anyway. And, uh, and to complete the team's week, we've got a bronze in the form of Chris Doolan. So, guys, that is this week's team of the week, team of the week 20. Yeah, the main man, Neymar. God knows what price he's going to be. As I say, I will try to review him if I have enough coins on PlayStation. As I've already said, you guys know I did get banned on my Xbox account, so that's the only choice I have right now. And uh, yeah, in the comments below, let me know what players you are looking forward to uh, trying out from this week's team of the week. Also, let me know what players you want me to review other than Neymar. And uh, yeah, have a very good day. I'll see you for the reviews tonight.